Hi guys, welcome back to Spilling the Coffee. I'm Steph. And I'm Taylor. And today we're going to talk about how to deal with rejection from a potential employer. So rejection from an employer can definitely be upsetting for a candidate, but try your best not to take it personally. Um, rejection is inevitable for pretty much any job seeker. Even a current CEO of a company could have been rejected from a job when they were a younger candidate. Sometimes employers just want to like promote from within and you don't necessarily know that being an outside candidate uh, or it's just not the right position for you and um, that might be a blessing in disguise. Another way to kind of deal with rejection would be to stay positive. Um, it's pretty hard to stay positive once you've gotten a couple rejections, but you want to keep a positive mindset because it kind of almost shows off in your application or in your cover letter how you feel about this position, and you want to make sure that's always positive. It could lead to um, your interview, and you want to be positive in the interview even though you've experienced so many rejections. Try to find the silver lining when dealing with rejection, for sure. Um, there's a ton of opportunities out there, so being denied for one position, could open up a door for a different one to be available to you. Even if you face rejection from one company, definitely try to keep them in your network for future opportunities. Yeah, like a lot of hiring managers will tell you, like, I'll keep your resume on file, mm -hmm. but maybe you wanna just follow up with them when you see a different job posting, or even just like connect them with them on a like professional level, keeping them in your network, networking with them at all times, because they may have a position, not necessarily for their company, um, that they might recommend you for. Yeah. And that was today's episode of Spilling the Coffee. We'll catch you next time.